Let's talk quickly about uh, keeping your GitHub repository organized and how you upload an entire folder at once. So I have this uh, fancy embedded map with a side panel. Uh, I have an image that I am including on this page. By the way, I got this template from this repository, Carter to be publishing templates, and it's called side panel. And I downloaded it. It's a zip file. And when I unzipped it, I got a folder and I copied the contents like this. Let me zoom in on that a bit. There's an index. There's a CSS folder that includes the, the CSS for the page. And I added an image folder there. I just call it IMG. And in there, you can see the water image exists. So I, I have all of this in one folder right here. And if you look at the index.html, when I refer to that image, for example, I just say IMG for the folder name slash the name of the image. Okay, so you can see when I load that in my browser, it looks it looks fine. And I want all of this to be in my GitHub repository so that it shows up in GitHub pages. This is actually pretty straightforward, as long as you move the whole folder at once. So what I did is I put all of that in one folder. I called it js-assignment. Um, call it whatever makes sense for your repository. But if I go to my username.github.io repository here, you can drag and drop that folder in. And that's what that's going to do is it's going to create a new folder in your path. So right now, if I go to browsefo. dot sorry browsefo. github.io, you'll see my page. It's a pretty boring template, um, but it it will add it to where whatever the name of the folder is. So js dash assignment, and that shouldn't exist yet. So I should get a page not found error. Okay. But that's where it's going to end up being, JS assignment. So I'm going to drag like that. And you'll see that it is uploading all of the folder fo files in the folder, including the folders within the folder. So it's including the IMG folder and the CSS folder. I'll add a useful commit message. and press commit. And once it does, it might take a second, depending on how many files and how large they are. But you'll see in the main repo, we have js-assignment. If I go in there, it should match exactly what I have on my hard drive. So js-assignment, it has a CSS and image folder and an index.html. Let's dig in and make sure my image is there. It is there. Great. So now if I go over here and I reload, you see that it should show up the same. OK. So there was a small problem because some of the <coughs> because some of the files were coming over HTTP instead of HTTPS. Let me open up developer tools again. And this is what it will look like if that happens. It will say something like mixed content. The page was loaded over HTTPS, which you can see up here in the URL, but requested an insecure style sheet. And that's the CarterDB um, library which I did not foresee that being an issue. I should have. But the way you fix this is you find 
a version of the library that you can load over HTTPS. The reason that's an issue is HTTPS is secure, it's encrypted, but if it's loading some things that are not encrypted, most browsers nowadays will just shut that down. They will not load those files because they assume that if someone's loading something encrypted, they want everything to be encrypted. So let's quickly fix that issue. If we go to cardo.com and look for the HTTPS support, it's going to be under documentation, cardo.js, and getting started, HTTPS support, and I'm going to copy both of these over to my file. I'm going to get rid of the old ones. So I'm getting rid of the old style sheet there. And where is the code? The JavaScript. The JavaScript is down here. So I'm going to put the new one there, get rid of the old one, so that I only have one cardodb.js in my file. Let's save that and make sure that it still works over here. Yes, it does. And now I want to upload all of my files. I want to make sure that my whole folder stays in sync with what I have on my hard drive. So I'm going to go back out to the repository, right? Exactly like we did before. And I'm going to, on my hard drive, go back out to the folder that I uploaded originally. And I'm going to do the same exact thing I did earlier drag and drop. Okay. And I'm going to say fix HTTPS issue and commit those changes. Okay. So you see that the folder is still there. You don't get a second folder. As long as the folder name is exactly the same, it's just going to update the code, right? So if we click on that, you see that everything is actually the same. It only updated. So the CSS and the image folders did not change at all. And you see that they were last updated four minutes ago. But if you look at the HTML file, which we did change, it was updated 18 seconds ago, so, so it was updated much more recently. And if we go back to myusername.github.io slash the name of the folder and refresh it, there are no errors on the console and it worked, which is great. Okay, so there are some Google Maps errors. It's a little weird because you don't need Google Maps for this. So why don't we do that whole process one more time? I'm going to find Google Maps in that template, delete it, save, go back to the version on my hard drive and refresh it to make sure that it still works. It does. And back in GitHub, I'm going to go back out to browsefo.github.io and drag and drop the whole folder, right? fix Google Maps issue by removing Google Maps. And I'm going to press commit changes. And I want to double check. I should only have one folder called JS assignment and it should be right here. Let's double check. See, it says it updated just now the index.html, but the CSS and image folders they're the same as they were before. And now if I refresh this page, I should see no errors at all, hopefully. Yeah, much better. Okay, so um, in sum, I just want to get across that I would recommend that when you're working on a single assignment or a single project, that all goes in one folder. So in this case, it's a JS assignment. You might go with like assignment six, assignment seven, whatever works for you. Just stay, try to stay consistent. 
and inside there, that's where you'll have your index.html, your CSS, your images, um, and this is how you can make sure that your images stay on GitHub so that the site stays together. All right, so you have everything in that folder, and then you upload that whole folder to your repository here, like this. I'm not going to do it again because I just did it. Um, but you could also do that in within another folder, for example, if for some reason it was it should be in this assignment five folder, I can also put it here. I'm not going to do that because um, that's not what I want to do. But hopefully that gives you an idea of how to keep your projects organized and make sure that the whole project ends up on GitHub pages when you want it to.